Hi friends! Today we're here to talk about a thing that I'm doing this month. It's Arctober. I did find where someone did this on a blog last year and I will link that blog in the description box below so that you can check it out there if you would like to do so. Essentially I just thought Arctober would be the perfect time to use up all of my arcs that were, I was supposed to read by the end of September and or earlier but haven't made it there. I have seven arcs I need to read, okay? Had life gone per plan, I would have read these already, but because I've only read like five books in the last three months, that didn't happen. I have these seven arcs, I'm gonna go over them and just kind of give you an idea of what they're about, and let you know if they're out yet or not, because most of them are out already. But we'll just go over them quickly and let you know what I plan to read this month. I'm gonna try to get to all of these this month, but I don't know, because again, I've read five books in the last three months, so it makes me think I can read seven, plus whatever else I'm reading in one month. I don't know, but it sounded like a great idea at the time. Okay, let's go. So the first on my list is Seeker by Kim Chance. It its release date was September 10th so yes it is obviously already out. I was originally on the street team for Seeker so I did get an arc of it as a member of the street team. Seeker is the sequel to Keeper which is a book about a girl who discovers that she is a witch and that her powers are to keep hold of the family's spell book and try to keep it from evil hence the term Keeper and I again was originally on the street team and I had to pull out of being on the street team and doing it and reading it by the date that it was due just because of everything that is going on with my sister. I reached out to Kim. I let her know what was going on. She was super sweet about everything and so I still want to read it. Still want to get a review up. Very interested in the story and really want to help Kim out and get a review up about that. Working on it just way behind. Um, speaking of people that I want to review and am way behind on, let's talk about Lineage by C. Vonzale Lewis. This came out July 16th. Yeah. Lineage is about a girl whose family practices magic that she doesn't necessarily believe in and she leaves her family, leaves the town that they're from, and she goes out and she gets a job and makes friends with one of the girls that she works with. And as time goes on she discovers that the family that she's working for do kind of the dark arts and the friends that she has made have come come up missing and she has to basically accept her lineage and go back home and try to um, get her family to help her take down this evil family that's doing all the dark arts. That's a very glossed over description of what this book is about. It sounds amazing. Let's see. Next would be Rebel Girls by Elizabeth Keenan. This came out on September 10th as well. I received an arc of that via Edelweiss. I am currently reading that. I am going through it. So I'm already working on that one. It's just I'm behind. I am listening to it on audio. I'm enjoying it so far. From what I recall of reading the description however many months ago when I accepted this book, it is about girls in a Catholic school and about how the Catholic school obviously is pro-life and about how these girls are pro-choice and they form a club. Don't know what they're doing but I'm sure it's a down with the patriarchy moment for sure. I love the cover of it. I'm very interested in seeing how it goes. Again, I am have started reading it. I'm about 10% in. So not very far in at all. Next we're gonna talk about The Girl the Sea Gave Back by Adrienne Young which came out September 3rd which was forever ago. I'm not 100% sure what this one's about but I did like the cover and I got an arc of it via NetGalley and again super behind but I do plan on reading this this month. I got, I purchased the audiobook on Audible. So I haven't even read it yet and I already bought it so supportive of you even though I have no idea if I like it or not because at this point I know that audiobooks are kind of the only way that I'm going to get through seven of these. I know that at least three of them are available on audiobook. Keeper, The Girl of Seagate, Back, and Rebel Girls are all available on audiobook. Keeper is only available via Audible. The others are available through the library as well. And then we have three that aren't out yet. First we have Grave Maidens by Kelly Kuhn and it comes out October 29th and it is about a girl who lives in a country where the kings, their kings or princes, they get to choose girls to go to death with them. Essentially it's like you know how when um, a prince or a king would die, all of their concubines and wives, they would kill them and bury them with them. That's essentially what this is. The girl's sister is choosing to be a grave maiden for this person that's passing on. And while the sister sees it as this great honor, she sees it as it is. It's <laughs> her sister, her kid sister is going to die because some dude's dying and it needs women with him in the afterlife because 
that makes sense. And essentially is about her, again, taking down the patriarchy. I feel like we have a theme here. Next we have Resurrection Girls by Ava Morgan. This comes out October 31st. All I remember is that it is about girls who write letters to guys on death row. I don't remember anything else. I remember that the cover is super creepy and it comes out on Halloween and I had to get it. I also received this one on NetGalley as well. This girl that she gave back I think was on NetGalley as well. I think the only one that was Edelweiss was Rebel Girls sounds right. And then the last book that we're going to talk about is In a Mirror by Emily Bourne. Emily is a fellow author tuber and is a friend of mine and I love Emily and so I'm going to read her book In a Mirror that follows twin sisters Brittany and Charlie and they are I don't look I'm gonna explain this so horribly and Emily I'm sorry for explaining this so bad but essentially one of the girls is more popular, one of the girls is not so popular, their parents have divorced, one is on the side of the dad, one's on the side of the mom, and it's just kind of about teenage life. It's a summer read which is interesting for us Americans because it's our winter but for Emily because she lives in Australia it's her summer so it's a summer read. It's just gonna be a series. I'm super excited about it and there's like romance and fun things and listen I'm not great at explaining things that I haven't read yet and so once I read it you will obviously get lots of information about it because Emily's my friend and I'm going to shove it down your throat until you buy it and read it and love it. Anyway so those are the seven arcs that I'm hoping to get to this month. Again October rolling with it. I will link all of those in the description box below on Goodreads so you can check them out further and get an ac accurate description of what they're actually about rather than me rambling about having an idea of what it was when I read it six months ago when I got approved for the arc and haven't read it yet. It's fine. It's totally fine. That is all I have for today. I post reading writing and book related videos typically Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends but lately it's just been whenever I have a chance. So if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future especially with my current upload schedule make sure you subscribe and then we can be friends. And until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!